What kind of chess player are you? Are you a brilliant chess grandmaster? Well, no, let's be honest, you probably suck. But hey, don't we all? Anyway, in this video today, I'm going to be covering all of the different types of chess players that there are in the game of chess. I will be covering players like the London Premover, the Bullet Player, and even the actually insane Hikaru himself. So watch till the end of the video and comment down below what kind of chess player you are. Let's get straight into it. Woo! Hey guys, I just want to show you this new opening that I learned. It's called the London System. You know, it's a pretty nice opening, pretty simple. It's very easy to remember because you can make the same exact moves every time and you pretty much get a free win with it. You get such a huge advantage and it's a really nice opening to learn first because it's quite simple and it's really easy to remember. So I'm going to show you the opening now. Starts with d4, moving out your queen's pawn, then your bishop out to f4, knight out to f3, just developing your pieces normally. Now you move your E pawn up to E3, getting ready to move your bishop out to D3 and have a nice pyramid for your pawns. Move out your bishop, like I just said. Now you move out your C pawn to get the full pyramid of pawns around your light squared bishop. And now you move your knight up to D2 just to develop your pieces even more. And you now have a very solid position in the London system, and that is why I like this opening so much. Wait. What the heck? Hey guys, today I'm going to play my first ever game of chess, and I just want to show you how it goes. So I'm going to move my pawn up one square, just to try to develop it as far as I can, into the center of the board. Because I've heard, I've heard people- Dude, what? Why can he move his pawn up two squares, but I can't? Dude, it's like- Dude, people keep doing this to me, and I, I don't understand it. So, I, I don't even know. Alright, maybe I'm going to be able to move my pawn up one square, and then I'll be able to take his pawn, and he won't- Maybe he won't see it coming. Maybe I'll be able to get a free pawn on him, and then I'll be winning. Dude, why- why is this game- Dude, it's literally- the game is glitching, okay? I- I can't, I'm not even allowed to take his pawn. Okay, well, I guess I'll just move my- this pawn up one square, since the game's cheating. I've heard that the horsey's go in L's, like that, or- or diagonal too, I guess also, and I've heard that the- that these, uh- I, I think they're called the the priests. They move diagonally too, but they can go diagonally however far they want. And the towers over here, they can um they they go in a straight line. So yeah, I, I'm not too bad at the game. And the the queen basically can go to any square on the board at all. Like she's just super powerful. And the king, I don't really know what he does. So I'm just gonna move my queen up one square, just just to get get it. I want to move her around. Dude, the knight's supposed to move in an L. Okay, this person's, I, I, either this person is cheating or the game is really glitchy right now because I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand what this game is even, even is doing. Okay, since the game's been glitching out recently, I guess the pawns now, I guess you can now take diagonally with the pawns, so that's what I'm going to do now. Um, yeah, so let's, dude, the game is glitching so much that he can literally take my queen first try, dude. It's not even fair, okay? This game's so glitchy. Oh my goodness, I, it's not even fair, bro. I'm, I'm just gonna res I'm done, chess. Taking a very analytical look at this position, it is very clear to me that uh, white is just better in this position because of moves like rook f4. It's actually mate and eight in this position. Bishop f5, rook takes, pawn takes, rook takes. Queen g7, rook f7, king g6, queen e6, and that's another check. Bishop f6, knight h4 check on the king, king h5, queen h5, bishop g5, queen f3, and after king h4, queen h3, that's obviously just clearly checkmate, and it's very clear in this position that white is clearly better. Let's see how this goes, like I just said. Rook, take with a rook, pawn takes, rook takes. King, rook up, king runs, queen, H, queen e6, bishop f6, knight check, queen, king runs, queen f5, bishop blocks, queen f3, king takes, 
And like I just said, queen h3. That's obviously checkmate. Very quite simple, honestly, if you ask me. It's a very simple position. Oh my goodness, dude. I might be better than Kabiano Farawana, Cagnus Marlson, and Nikaru Hakamura all in one. I'm a genius. Okay, I can move my knight up to f7, threatening the rook. But, 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 he may take. That is a very high possibility. And if he takes, my knight sacrifice was a brilliant move because I can move the pawn up to e6, forking the queen and the king, a royal fork with a pawn. I am genius. And after all of that, the pawn is protected by the rook. So that is honestly, dude, that is just wild. I am just the best chess player in the world. Look at this. He takes, like I said, oh my goodness, the royal fork with the pawn. The queen has to take and I move my rook up and win a queen. That was a brilliant sequence. Now I move my rook over, check the king again, and I'm going to go on to win this game. Okay, now I can go check the king with the queen on f5. No! I play bullet chess, no time to explain. Trade rooks, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Trade rooks, take the bishop, oh my goodness. Okay, he takes back, and I take back to the king. Move my pawns up, move my pawns up, okay. Attack on the center board. Only nine seconds left on this part. I, can, I just have to win on the clock. Trade pawns, okay. Now run the king, pre move everything, pre move everything. Run the clock, oh my goodness. Okay, 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 okay. Run the king. Run the king off the board. Okay. Yes. He's gonna run out of time. He's gonna run out of time. Yes. 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 Oh my gosh. I'm so good at the game. Hey guys. It's the boy here. Back with another YouTube video. And in this video today, I'm going to be telling you what is the best opening in all of chess. This opening that I made all by myself is the moose opening. Not to be confused with the cow opening made by Krana Amblin. Okay. Come here for a second. Dad, hold on one second. I'm making a YouTube video. Shut up, Anthony. For the last time, stop making your stupid YouTube videos. You are a failure. Dad, you just don't get it, okay? I want to be like my hero, Gotham Chess. He is such a successful and such a nice chess YouTuber, and I hope that one day I can be just like him. You don't understand, and you just don't, you just don't believe in me, okay? But one day you'll see. You'll see how I'll become just like Gotham Chess. Shut up! No, stop!